Hello everyone, this is Abhishek from Coding Blocks. Welcome to this session on lead code problem solving. Today we will solve one problem on lead code that goes by the name of first bad version. We will look at the problem description, then we will try to build an intuition how to solve that problem. Finally, we're going to write the code and submit it on lead code. So let's get started. So this is our problem first bad version. You are a product manager and currently leading a team to develop a new product. Unfortunately, the latest version of your product fails the quality check. Since each version is developed based on the previous version, all the versions after a bad version are also bad. Suppose you have n versions which are numbered from 1 to n and you want to find the first bad one which causes all the following ones to be bad. You are given an API is bad version which takes in the version number and returns whether that version is bad or not. You have to implement a function to find the first bad version and you should minimize the number of calls to the API. So first thing that you must realize is that this is a search problem. Why? Because a product has n versions and there is one version which is bad because of which all the versions that follow it are also bad and we want to search for that first bad version. Let's take a look at the examples that we have been given. So there are two examples. In the first example, the value of n is 5. That is, there are five versions of the product. And suppose the fourth version is the first bad version. That is why your output is 4. Let's take a look at the second example. Here, the value of n is 1. That is, the product has only one version. And the first version itself is the bad version. That is why your output is 1. Let's also look at the constraints that we have. So bad represents the first bad version and it is always less than or equal to n and both of them lie between 1 and 2 to the power 31 minus 1. So we can store both of them in integers, right? So now that we have read the description, we have seen the example as well as the constraints, let's try to see how to solve this problem. So Let's take an example. Suppose the value of n is 7. That is your product has 7 versions. Let me number them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And suppose the fifth version is the first bad version. And therefore all the versions that follow it are also bad. And all the versions that precede the fifth version are good versions. Right? This is the first bad version. And this is what we have to find. This is what we have to find, right? So how we can do that? So one simple way is to use the linear search algorithm. How? How we can use linear search? We will first go to the first version. We will make an API call to check if the first version is a bad version or not. Clearly the first version is not a bad version. So the API call will return false. We will then go to the second version and again make an API call to check if the second version is a bad version or not. Once again, the API call will return false. We will then go to the third version. We will make an API call to check if the third version is a bad version or not. Once again, we will get false because third version also is a good version. We will then go to the fourth version and make an API call to check if the fourth version is a bad version or not. And once again, the API call will return false because even fourth is a good version. Once we reach the fifth version and make an API call to check if the fifth version is a bad version or not, this time the API call returns true. And once the API call returns true, I know for sure for whichever version number the API call has returned true, that is my first bad version. And yes, indeed, five is my first bad version. Now let us assume that each API call can be done in constant time, right? Then in the linear search algorithm, in the worst case, I have to make n API calls. Therefore, the running time of our algorithm is order of n. Now, if I were to implement the linear search algorithm and submit on lead code, you will definitely get a TLE. Why? Because we are making in the worst case n API calls. And in the question, it is given clearly that we want to minimize the number of calls to the API, right? So what we can do, we cannot use the linear search algorithm. Now there's another algorithm that goes by the name of binary search. 
and we know binary search algorithm can be exploited to search in any monotonic search space right now the question is can the binary search algorithm be used to find the first pad version so let us work under the assumption that we are indeed working in a monotonic search space and we are looking for the first bad version. In order to apply the binary search algorithm, you first need to define the bounds of the search space. Now we know the first bad version always lies between the first version and the nth version. So this is the search space in which we are going to operate. In order to run the binary search algorithm, I have to first initialize the starting point of the search space. Let me denote it by S, which equals to one, and the ending point of the search space. Let me denote it by E, which equals to N. Once I have defined the starting point and the ending point of the search space, I will calculate the midpoint. Let me denote it by M, and this is given by the following formula, S plus E minus S by two. Now you could have also used the formula S plus E by two to find the midpoint. However, if the value of S and E are very large, suppose they are equal to int max, then when you try to find mid using this formula, you will run into integer overflows, which is something that we want to avoid. So to find the midpoint of the search space, I will use this formula. Now, what will I do with the midpoint? I will make an API call to check if the version number corresponding to the midpoint is a bad version or not. So the API call can return either true or false. If it returns true, it means that the version corresponding to the midpoint of the search space is a bad version. And if it returns false, it means that the version corresponding to the midpoint is a good version. Let us now try to explore both these cases. In the first case, suppose the API call says that the version corresponding to the midpoint is not a bad version. That is, it is a good version. So what are the consequences? So this is my search space. This is one, this is n, this is the starting point, this is the ending point. I found the mid, I made an API call, and the API call said, this is not a bad version. That is, this is a good version. If the version corresponding to the midpoint is a good version, I know for sure all the versions that precede the midpoint are also good. These are also good versions. And now in order to search for the first bad version, I will reduce my search space from S comma E to mid plus one comma E. Because now the first bad version can only lie in this range. Let's consider the second case. Suppose when I pass the mid version to the API call, it returns true. That is, it is a bad version. So what will happen to our search space? This is the starting point of the search space. This is the ending point of the search space. This is the mid. And this time the API call returns true. That is, this is a bad version. So if this is a bad version, I know for sure all the versions that succeed the mid version are also bad. Now we are not sure if mid is the first bad version or not. So in order to find the first bad version, in this case, we will reduce our search space from S comma E to S comma mid, right? And how long I am going to reduce my search space? I will keep doing this as long as S is less than or equal to E. As soon as S equals to E, I know for sure that I have found my first bad version which is nothing but whatever the value of S or E is, right? So now that we have seen how the binary search algorithm will work, let's try to see through an example if indeed we can use the binary search algorithm to find the first bad version. So let N equals to seven, that is a product has seven version and these are numbered from one to seven. And suppose the fifth version is the first bad version. This is what we want to find. This is the starting point of my search space. This is the ending point of my search space. The first step is to calculate mid and mid is given by S plus E minus S by two, which is nothing but one plus seven minus one by two. This comes out to be four. So my midpoint is version number four. I will then make an API call to check if the fourth version is a bad version or not. And clearly because the fifth version is the first bad version. The API call will return false, which means the fourth version is a good version. And therefore all the versions that preceded are also 
good versions right now in order to find the first bad version i will reduce my search space from s comma e to mid plus one comma e that is from one comma seven to five comma seven okay so this is my new search space this is five which is s this is seven which is e and this is six once again i'll try to find mid so mid equals to chart plus end minus chart by two that is five plus seven minus five by two which comes out to be six so this is my mid once again i'll try to make an api call to check if the version corresponding to the mid is a bad version or not and this time because we know five is the first bad version the api call will return true that is the sixth version is a bad version and because the sixth version is a bad version, all the versions that succeed sixth, sixth version are also bad. Right? And we are not sure if the sixth version is the first bad version or not. So we will reduce our search space to find the first bad version from S comma E to S comma mid. That is from 5 comma 7 to 5 comma 6. So this is our new source space. This is S, which is 5, and this is E, which is 6. Once again, I'll try to find the mid, which is nothing but start plus end minus start by 2. This will become 0, and this is 5. So value of mid is 5. So even my mid will point here. I will make an API call to check if the version corresponding to the midpoint is a bad version or not. And yes, it is a bad version. So API will return true. And because and this is a bad version all the versions that succeed this are also bad right so what i will do that now now i will reduce my source space from s comma e to s comma mid that is from 5 comma 6 to 5 comma 5 and as soon as the starting point equals to the ending point i will terminate my search why because now i have found the first bad version and it is nothing but whatever is the value of s or whatever is the value of e because at this point s is equal to e so my final answer will be 5 this is the first bad version and yes indeed 5 was the first bad version so now that we have seen by the means of an example that we can use the binary search algorithm to find the first bad version let us just implement its solution and submit it on lead code okay so let me just create some space so i can write the code in order to write the binary search algorithm, I will first initialize S, which is the starting point of my search space, and that is initialized with 1, as well as E, which is the ending point of my search space, which is initialized with N. And while my starting point is less than my ending point, I will calculate mid, which is nothing but start plus end minus start by 2. Then I will make an API call to check the version corresponding to the midpoint is a bad version or not. So I will make an API call is bad version. I will pass the version number. And if it is a bad version, I will reduce my search space from S comma E to S comma mid, right? That is end equals to mid. Otherwise, if this is not a bad version, then I will reduce my search space from S comma E to mid plus one comma e that is s equals to mid plus one once i come out of this loop that is the value of s equals to value of e i know for sure that i have found the first bad version which is nothing but whatever is the value of s you could have also returned value of e that doesn't make any difference because at this point both s and e are equal so now that we have written the code let us run this code on the test case and yes the test case was 5 comma 4 there are five versions of the product and the fourth version is the first bad version and our output is also 4 which is expected output now let us try to submit this code so i have submitted the code and let's see if it is accepted or not so let me just pull up this window and yes it has been accepted right 
So now that we have seen that we can use the binary search algorithm to find the first bad version, let us also analyze its time complexity. So initially the size of my search space is n. After the first call, it reduces by two, that is it becomes n divided by two. This is after the first call. After the second API call, it reduces again by half. So it becomes n divided by two to the power two. This is after the second call. And I'll keep making calls to the API until the size of my search space reduces to one. That is the start of my search space equals to the end of my search space. So suppose after k number of calls, the size of my search space reduces to one. That is n divided by two to the power k equals to one. Let us now try to solve this equation for k. So multiplying both the sides by two to the power k, I will get n equals to two to the power k. Taking log on both the sides, what do we get? Log of n equals to k. So if you use the binary search algorithm, in the worst case, you will make log n calls. And assuming that each call takes constant time, the running time of our algorithm is nothing but order of log of n. So that's it for this session. I hope you understood the problem as well as the solution and you were able to successfully submit your solutions to lead code. I want to thank you for joining me in this session and we will meet in the next session. Till then, goodbye.